Special guest in the studio, uh, his name rings a bell. Uh, perhaps one of the greatest names to have graced the game here on the local front. About, I could count as many as about six of our legends bearing that name. Uh, but he particularly rose to fame on the local front, playing for second D 11 wise between the years of 2008 and 2009 and that remarkable performance ending a call up into the local black stars uh, playing and stealing the headlines in the championship of african nations of 2009 in boaké cote d'ivoire and that propelled him uh, to a stars call up uh, into the senior national team the black stars in 2009 in 2010 he made his debut at the africa cup of nations staged in angola that same year he was a member of the team named by milovan reichvart for the fifa world cup the first ever of the mundial that was staged on the african soil ladies and gentlemen my guest is rahim are you good evening rahim and thanks for the time good evening it's been a while where have you been I've been around. We've been looking for you, but we don't find you. Well, <laughs> provided I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, do, I'm you doing just, fine. You're, you're doing fine. I'm doing fine, so that's the most important thing. That's the most important thing. Yeah. I, I, I see. But where have you been? I've been around. I'm, I'm, I mean, apart from being around, coming on holidays, because you're not in town. When the football season is on, we, we don't see, we don't hear of you in town. Yeah, because usually where, where, where I'm playing, I mean, like, a lot of people don't know about Gibraltar. Okay that I much see. but gibraltar is uh, it's an island in spain okay you know it's just a few minutes from spain yeah so that is where i play my trade for, so FC, europa. for fc europa and you people are hitting them i sometimes i check your score line seven zero eight yeah, zero. i mean if you have the best players that's what happens <laughs> so yeah, but tell us how, how is football in gibraltar because like you said uh, Ghanaians do not know much when it comes to football in that part of the world well uh, i've been with my club since um, 2016. okay i've been there for five years now and um football in gibraltar before it was i mean great you know before you have uh, because of the local rule okay. now it's changing so okay. what was changing because now five locals have to start every game okay. and you know gibraltar is an island it's a rich country they don't really care much about football okay you know so you know a lot is changing so it's making i mean um it's it's not really allowing we the foreigners to stay to there anymore ourselves. to enjoy ourselves okay so but but how, how did you end up in gibraltar well um if you if you could remember after belgium yeah. i came back to ghana yeah i signed for asante kotoko yeah. and then uh, we won the league and then the following year i i was just there and then someone called me i did not trust me i did not know anything about gibraltar as well okay but the offer was good that I could not refuse. So I said, let me give it a try. So I signed a year deal. And then since then, I've been, I've been with my club. I get the opportunity to play the European Cup um, qualifiers, okay. Champions League qualifiers. So, you know, I've been, I've been okay. I've been around. Okay. Just that I don't now, come if, to if you, say, that if you say the offer was good, so it was actually the offer that lured you to Joe Brad. Yeah. If you say the offer was good, what was it? Was it the, the weight of the club? Was it the money? Was it the opportunity? The money to was play? good. The money was good. The money was so you good. made some good money playing in Gibraltar. But Gibraltar is a rich country. I mean, okay. sometimes it's not about, I mean, how tough the league is. You have to follow, I mean, some things. Okay. Some but, things but, will but, lead you somewhere. So. <laughs> <laughs> I see. But, but looking at players from our part of the world, a lot of the time the supporters will criticize you when you say a move is inspired by money. Are these criticisms fair? Well, you have to look at where you come from. Okay. Depending on, you have to also look at your age. Okay. You or I mean, examine yourself. That are you still gonna be uh, the Messi that you wanted to be or the Ronaldo that you wanted to be? Okay. If you look at things and it's not gonna be that way, and everyone has his path, you know. Yeah. Not everyone that is gonna make. I mean, there are some people who have made the name, but they've not made the money. Okay. There are some who have made the money, and have not made the name. Okay. So, you know, you, you have to but look at But which should be the most important? Is it the money? Is it the name? Is it the records? Well, sometimes, I, me, personally, I will go for the money. You go for the money. Because after my career, what am I going to be doing? What am I going to be using for investment or something? It's all, okay. going, it's all going to depend on the money. Okay. You can make the name, but 
in this modern world, this I mean, uh, especially Ghana that we live in, if you don't have your name, <laughs> your name might, maybe might take you to places, but if you don't have. <laughs> what is the use of making the name then? <laughs> so, so some have made the name and not made the money. Yeah. I remember one uh, former Ghanaian international who got very furious because uh, one of his colleagues said that uh, the guy was broken. Mm -hmm. Now he's resorted to managing a public place of convenience. And, and that's a job as well. That, that didn't go down well with, with the player. I, I, I want to keep the name, but it didn't go down well with him at all. Uh, for those remarks. So making the money is very important. Oh, making the money is very important and where you, you're going to put the money. Okay. You know, I mean, and before you start, uh, before you think about retiring, you have to develop a passion. Okay. But, but those, talking about making the, because you've spoken about making the money, you've spoken about what you do with the money. Talking yeah. about managing, management of resources, there are a lot of people who have said that you footballers make a lot of money. But unfortunately, you are unable to manage it well. From where you say, do, do, do you think that is true? No, it's not. And it's not every footballer too that makes it a lot, a lot okay. of money. Some, you know, you just have to manage it. You know, okay. how you, you, you put your things together. I mean, if you have good people around you, okay. you know, you know where to, the exact things to do. To do okay. You know? So, so will you recommend for any Ghanaian player to go and play football in Gibraltar? Why not? Why not? I mean, Gibraltar is a British territory. Okay. The, it's pounds. If oh, you have okay. For, yeah, it's so you pounds. Are, so you were paid in pounds? Yeah. Okay. So it's, it's pounds. We'll check the if, he, if, if, <laughs> if they have the Gibraltar, uh, Gibraltar pounds. pounds. Okay. And then, um, but it's the same equivalent to the British pound. The British pound. Oh, and okay. if you are Gibraltarian, you are British. Okay. So, you it know. This is a good place. Nice. Good place. <laughs> From there, you can see Morocco. I mean, it's a nice place. Okay. Well, no. but I, my place is in Spain. I live in Spain because you it's live just, in Spain. It's just a, it's just like ten minute walk. Oh, okay. So yeah. it means you, you live in a border town. Yeah, yeah. I live in a border town. So it's just like ten minutes walk to Gibraltar, but it's like all the teams we train in, um, in Spain. So okay. The little research I've done tells me that you've played in Gibraltar for about five seasons. Yeah. I wow. That's 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 remarkable. Yes. What what has kept you there <laughs> for five years? Well, when Is it I that there were no offers or you, you fell in love with the place and wanted to continue there? Well, uh, I quite remember after my second year, I had an offer in Sweden. Wow. And uh, they mentioned the money in Swedish krona or something, <laughs> like 45,000. I'm like, oh, wow, good. But 45,000 a month? Yeah. Okay. But when I converted the money, I saw that, oh, look, where I am, is far better. Look, let me just stay <laughs> and make know, the money. <laughs> let, let me just be taking what I'm taking here. It's, it's okay, but I mean, Gibraltar is a nice place. It's a vacation place. You are closer to Marbella and everything. So I'm okay. I'm just, okay. I'm just leaving. Are you going to continue after five years with FC Europa or probably move to another club? I stay in Gibraltar, you're moving. Well, uh, for now, I don't know. But I might not be with Europa anymore. You might not be with, with Europa. FC Europa uh, anymore. But I might move elsewhere. In Gibraltar? It, it could be. It could be in Gibraltar. But, but what, what's the desire? Is, it, is the desire to stay in, in Gibraltar or you want to move elsewhere? Or possibly the Ghana Premier League is now getting more and more exciting. Ghana Premier League. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stay in Gibraltar. <laughs> <laughs> Probably I'll stay in Gibraltar, but I don't know. So you mean that for you to, I mean, to return to the Ghana Premier League? Oh, no you, disrespect. You, you, you prefer no, to Yeah, stay. no disrespect to the league, but um, I will prefer to be in Gibraltar for now because... And what's, what's the reason? Because I have things doing there, so... You are not done? I'm not done. Okay. Now, people have also talked about, or we continue to discuss how our players, and people will easily reference where Brazil and say, so when Ronaldo who was dipping in form, when he was aging, he returned to Brazil. Uh, when Robinho did this, I mean, people will always make that comparison. You are one who stays state football abroad, returned back to the country, and gone back. Yeah. How is it like re going out there and returning to play in the Ghana Premier League? Well, sometimes, I mean, it's, uh, it's uh, all about the mentality. Okay. You know, what you have in mind. You know, when I came back to Ghana from Belgium, could you, you could yeah. imagine from Belgium, I came back to Ghana, I signed for Kotoko, a lot were, was being said, you know, but you know what you want. Yeah. So if, I mean, you, you, in life you have to have goals, that's why I say, and my goal was to return, 
okay. back to Europe, but I didn't know where it's going to be okay. or to go back to professional. So I set that goal and then I kept training, played for Kotoko, and then the offer came. So when the offer came, I was not surprised. You know, I, since you have a good CV, you've played in Europe, if you come to Ghana and you're still performing, why not? It makes yeah. things a bit easy. Yeah. Okay. But will you consider one day returning to the Ghana Premier League? Or you think after 11 wise at Sante Kotoko, probably you are done with the Premier League? I don't know. Depending on um, how, how things go, I can't determine the future for now. Okay. So let's just see. Never say never. I could, so player keeps making that statement. Yeah, never say never. But if you return, what club will you play for? You've played for 11 wise. They are no longer, not even in the first division. You've had a stint with Asante Kotoko. Would you want to taste football with Accra Hearts of Folk? Or if you return, it, it will probably be Asante Kotoko again. Well, with me, I mean, if you treat me right, that is how I go about things. You treat me right, you show me the project you have, and if I, if I want to be in that project, why not? But if you don't do the right things, I mean... You know, I've been, I, I, I'm a professional, so when I come, I have to see the kind of things you have. What, Were what, you re treated right in your first stint with Asante Kotoko? Oh, yeah, I was. I mean, the first six months was okay, but after, you know, it's Africa, you know, so. <laughs> Understood. Yeah. So. <laughs> Viewers, we're having an exclusive interview with uh, Ghanaian international Rahim Ayu, uh, who has just completed a five-year stint with FC Europa in Gibraltar. Remember, Rahim Ayu uh, was a member of the uh, Chan team, the local Black Stars team that finished runners up in 2009 in the Champions of African Nations, a member of the Black Stars team that finished runners up in the 2010 Africa Cup of Nations. Uh, he was a member of the team that played in the 2010 uh, FIFA World Cup and joining the likes of Senegal and Cameroon as the only African teams that uh, have made the quarterfinals of the FIFA World Cup. Rahim Ayu is our guest. You can join the conversation. Your questions, your thoughts are welcome through our social media platforms, Metro TV Ghana on Facebook, Metro TV GH on Twitter, and also on Instagram. Or you can resort to a simple WhatsApp or SMS message via 0548 or better still 0548 We already have some of your thoughts coming through our social media platforms and WhatsApp line, and I'll quickly uh, run through some of the messages. And uh, this one says that, good evening to you, Michael. Great conversation with uh, Rahim Ayu. I want to find out how he gets along with his other brothers. Okay, this one says that, uh, good evening, Michael. Great show. Uh, I know that all the professionals want to be on this platform when they are down. It's good you are bringing them one after the other. Okay, this one says, interesting conversation. It's an eye-opener. Uh, Ghanaians would often want to run down uh, leagues that may not be popular or known as football uh, countries, but he's telling us that football in Gibraltar pays a lot. Okay. Michael, please, for a football, I want you to find out whether to make a move is about the money or the play time. I think that he's dealt with that already. Okay. This one says that will he consider a return to the Black Stars? Okay. We'll get into the national team bit, so uh, just hold your peace. And uh, this one says, my name is Samuel from Kumase Atonsu. I really enjoyed Rahim Ayu when he played for Kumase Asante Kotoko, and I hope that he returns to play for Asante Kotoko someday if he decides to come back to the Premier League. Okay. Uh, this one is just like a counter to the one I just read. It says, Michael, tell Rahim that Hasu Folk is the ish now. The phobians are on fire, and if you consider coming to Ghana, it should be Hasu Folk or nothing else. They say if you carry water... And carry what alcohol. That is where you can tell which is heavier. So he's played for Sante Kotoko. His next local stint should be with Hearts of Folk. Okay. Uh, this one says, "Hi, great guy. Want to know how it feels to be the son of a star, a Malik from Doma?" Okay, Malik, we we'll, we we'll get into all of that. <laughs> okay. So Rahim Ayu is my guest on this edition of the show. The WhatsApp line zero five four eight hundred nine thousand. Uh, keep your thoughts and your questions coming through. And it looks like people are interested. They want to know. Uh, the first question was, how you get along with your brothers, Andre and Jordan? Well, this should not be, even be a question. Because yeah. 
whenever we are in Ghana, not even in Ghana, wherever you see my brothers, you see me. Okay. So this is no, this is no, we grew up together. Okay. You know, so this is not, this should not be a question. I mean, maybe he has, he has not seen us, but yeah. you yourself, you know. Oh, I know. So you know how I close know the me camaraderie and, between. Yeah, the, you know how close me and my brothers are. Yeah. We don't leave each other, so. I see, but someone also asked, that, and it's one of the things I've penciled down to ask, though, that how does it feel being the son of Abedi Ayu Pele? Just how does it feel? Does it come with pressure? Does it feel good? How does it feel? Both. Sometimes it feels good, but one thing you also have to know is you have your own path to grow. Okay. You know? People will say this, like I said, in Africa, there are a lot of comparisons. So people like to say, oh, your dad did this, your dad that. No, you have to be yourself. You have to grow for yourself. Be yourself and then do what you also can do. Maybe you cannot achieve what your dad has achieved, but you also have to write down your legacy mm -hmm. for your kids. You know, our dad did his. We too, we are doing ours. But, but our are, are people quick to do that comparison? That, oh, yeah. okay, he's the son of the legend, so he must perform at this level. Oh, yeah, but, I mean, people have done it so many years. I mean, when we started, when we first got into the team. But, you know, I mean, we know what we wanted. We too, we decided to build our legacy for our kids. Okay. You know, our dad did his. Maybe we can beat him. We cannot beat him. We, only God knows. But we also, we, we also, we're going to do ours, what we can do. So, okay. Let, let me let me ask you this one: Do you think being the son of a, of the legend Abedi Ayu Pele has had a great impact on your career? Did they pave way? Did they make things more difficult? Did they raise expectations? <laughs> this should be a question for another day. But I mean, well, um, sometimes I mean it's it's difficult. It, it, not that it paves way, but the way people think that it gives us the chance. We really worked hard, trust me. Okay. We played under our dad. We really worked hard. He never gave us nothing easy. I won't lie to you. You've been to Narnia Park, so you know. <laughs> and most of the viewers to know. You know, he never gave us, I mean, yeah. so he prepared us to go out and fight for ourselves. That is what he did, so. Okay. Let, let's, let's do more of the messages that have come. This one says, Hello, I'm Rectify from Adisco 2005. I remember this Rahim. Pa, he was our number 10 in school. He said, uh, okay, uh, Adisco 2005. Yeah. Okay. No, not 2005. I've completed, I completed 204. 204. Okay, so yeah. it, it means that you were his senior. Yeah. This one says, please tell him to keep playing over there. All the best. Okay. Thank this you. message reads, it says that, uh, Michael, Trust me. Indeed, these guys have really worked their way out. I don't know how they started, uh, how they have come through, and how they are ending. But they are not the only sons of footballers. There are so many footballers that have tried to get their sons to the top but never worked. So if they are there, it means that their efforts have contributed the greater part. Okay. Uh, watching you live, Uncle from Nana. Okay. It says, I want him as my mentor. He should teach me how to fish by Prince. Okay. <laughs> Michael, ask Rahim. I miss him. Joshua Tete from Spintex, Pub 77. Don't know <laughs> if, if you remember him. This as I tell Rahim that, why, ask Rahim, why has he left his blood brother, Isaac Ousu, alone without, uh, okay. Who is Isaac Ousu? You may not even remember. Uh, it says, I know he won't give it to me, but I will please ask uh, him call me at least it will be a blessing to me but in, i don't know uh, I, I can't understand this one he says hi great brother please consider him are you to come back and play for the black stars watching you live from aguna abodom hello i like rahim's composure and answers keep it up from elomash elomash okay he says thanks for the good work michael my regards to rahim are you tell him we kotoko fans have missed him we love him. The doors are always open for him at Asante Kotoko. Ask him the number of goals he scored so far for his club at Jobrata. Kofi Obuo Santasi Kumase. Good evening, Michael. Hope to see Rahim in the Black Stars team again. I'm from Asokwa Junction, Obuase. Hi, Mr. Host. Tell him to convince his brother Dede to try the striking position for the Black Stars. Okay. 
Uh, that's your thought. This one says, good evening to you, Michael. I think that these guys are indeed great. I want to find out how their daddy feels that he has three sons who have all become footballers. Do, do you have such conversations with your dad? And, uh, is he really. excited? Is he happy? Not well when he sees that. Because thing. like the first texter, the earlier texter said, there are great footballers who have tried to make their well, sons true. footballers, but never worked. Is yeah, Daddy proud of you guys? Yeah, well, of course. I mean, when he sees us playing, it's, it's a natural thing that will come within, you know, to see your kids three, you know, playing at the highest level. It's something that, I mean, he always counts himself blessed, you know. So, you know, so, I mean... <laughs> let, 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 you, you heard that a number of the texters are asking. Well, Rahu, coming back to the Black Stars, if you come <laughs> back, have you retired from the national team? Me? Yes. No. I've not retired. The day I would retire from, maybe for, retire from the national team is the day maybe I'll just retire football. From football? Yeah, you, you retire from national team before you retire from I, the If Black I retire Stars. football, I'm, I'm going to retire from everything. But there are some people that have retired from the national team before club. At some point, well, they, take, they, well, they may, feel that they are done Well, with maybe the some team. are not being called. Okay. So when you feel you are not going to be called or something, then you might give up. But me, well, but for now, I don't really have that in mind, like okay. returning to the Black Star. I'm just doing my thing. Okay. I'm just enjoying my profession. I'm enjoying my career. So I'm playing if any day, any time they said, okay, Rahim, I mean, we think you deserve a caller. I want to, I don't want to be given to. I, okay. I need, I deserve it. You know, okay. I need to work for it. So, okay. if the coach... But you are performing me, well in Gibraltar. Do yeah. you think you deserve a call-up? I don't know. So, they Why see me play. If they see me play and they think, I mean, I deserve it. Why but not? with your performance there, if they were watching, do you think they will call you? Since I've been in Gibraltar, how many times have I won the best player? I've been winning the best player for like three years, two years, yeah. So my first year, the team Europa had never won the league. I won the league, so I've the, the cup. So they, they even said if I had not played for the national team, they would have loved me to play for their national team. So you know, if they see me and they said I deserve a call up, it means not that Ghanaians don't know how I play. Okay. But it's all have, you all have to. Have be, you still got you know, the energy to deliver at the highest level? Why not? <laughs> it's all about here. Yeah. The mentality. The mentality. And the strength. And the strength. You know, so, and, you know, that I have the, the, the mental toughness, so I never give up. I see. When you talk of black stars, what everybody talks about is winning the Africa Cup of Nations. You had the opportunity to play in the final at your first attempt with the team. In fact, the last time you won it, your daddy was a very young player in the team uh, back in 1982. The trophy has eluded us. And next year, when we play the next Africa Cup of Nations, will be exactly 40 years. You've had the experience. Do you think we can win the Africa Cup of Nations anytime soon? Uh, usually, I don't talk about black stars. Do you get what I mean? Not, not that because I'm not there. You understand? But I like to protect myself. You know, put myself, protect my family. That is how I am. But so we're, we're not talking can about this question be no, for we're, another we're, day? We are not talking about your. Family. Oh yeah, one that, day, one that, day, that one day why, we'll win no, it. That, that is why we have not narrowed it to whether your brother can be the one to lead the team. Uh, I, 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 it may not be fair. Yeah. Asking you that, but I mean, generally, if you look at. But you know, he's the captain. I know he's the captain. Okay. But it doesn't take the captain alone to win the captain. This, okay, just this it takes morning, a team, but what? Just this morning, I was, I was speaking about multiple factors mm -hmm. that will allow for any sports team to excel. The quality of players, the yeah. quality of leadership, the well, technical team, mm -hmm. motivation, True. preparation, True. and all of those factors will come together. Yeah. You have been to the Africa Cup of Nations. You've been to the World Cup. You are an insider with great experience when it comes yeah. to the Black Stars. And I know that if not for anything, because your brothers are there, you still follow the team. Oh, yeah, and I I'm do. asking you whether you think we have a team that could deliver the Africa Cup of Nations anytime soon. Oh, yeah, we can. We can. We have, a, we have a very good team, very young team, that anytime soon, I think... What, what must we, we do to win the cup? <sighs> that one, I, I don't know. You should have an idea. I have, I, I'm not a coach. 
I'm not a coach. I'm not the technical <laughs> director. So, what, what do you mean to say? No, even but, if, even but, if but I have, you, you have no, even, if, even if I have my idea, mm -hmm. how am I even going to tell CK? I'm still playing. Okay. You understand? I'm still playing. Yeah. If I had quit football, or retired from football, and maybe I can go and meet uh, the, the present coach, and then I'll be like, okay. Okay. These are some of the ideas I had. These are these are the, some of the things we did and we got to the finals. Okay. But yeah, I'm, I'm not so. There's so many messages. Let me read this one. Let me see if I can feel. It says, "Good evening, Michael. Ask what is his position on the pitch and if he was ever comfortable in his role with the Black Stars in terms of the position he played." I can see A.K. Mampi from Atimota. My position. Yes, your your real your natural position, your real the, what you are comfortable playing or what you've been right known for. back. Right back. Yeah, but I started playing football as a midfielder. Okay. And then, um, but I had so much. Uh, my dad, I mean, made me to play so much positions. Okay. So wherever they put me, I was comfortable, you know, okay. because I, had, I, I was playing as a left back. Right, but I've played every position. Okay. Central defense, wherever, like, that is how I, was, I played. And at the Black Stars at the time, were you comfortable with it? Because they were I was, yeah, today they were the coach comfortable. puts me on the left. That is why I was able to make it to the World Cup. Versatility. Because, yes. Okay. We've got to be wrapping up. Producer tells me time is up. Maybe you should say something to Ghanaians and then we are done. <laughs> what exactly do you want me to say to <laughs> Anything Ghanaians? Anything you want to say to Ghanaians. Oh, thanks for, showing, uh, thanks for showing us love always. And we always love you guys too. Bless. <laughs> Thank you very much for making time with us. Rahim, are you... Uh, the, the son, in fact, the eldest of the three sons of the living legend, Abedi Ayu Pele, uh, who all play football. I'm Michael Kofiudu. We're grateful that you made time to watch us. Remember that Bet Planet is giving you an opportunity to win a whooping cash of 10,000 CDs between the month of June and August. For June, 10,000 is going to one person, July, 10,000 to one person, and the last person wins at the end of the month of August. It's very simple. Just pick up your mobile phone, do a video of yourself, saying the good things that Bet Planet offers, and load those videos on social media. Tag at Bet Planet Ghana, and also use the hashtag Bet Planet Creators Cup. It's the Bet Planet Creators Cup. What are you waiting for? Just get creative on social media and win 10,000 CDs. It's the Bet Planet Creators Cup. You dream it, you create it, and you win it. Of course, terms and conditions apply. Thank you for watching. We are hopeful that Grace will find us so that tomorrow, same time at 5 p.m., we come your way with another edition of Sports Director Michael Kofiodo. You do have a lovely evening.